What's up, guys? I'm Kendra. This is Dustin. We're here for another episode of Midnight Train. Um, I'm trying to remember for our mini recap that we seem to always do. I just kind of like, you know, previously on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we we are investigating with Diana. Neil decided to be stupid and was like, let's go separate ways. I'm gonna leave you with this one chick who apparently did unethical experiments. Now I'm gonna go look over here. Even though, like, I can't talk or let him know if something happens. So... Hopefully nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, but he trusts you. He trusts me. I don't trust her. <laughs> yes, but he trusts you to be able to deal with her. Well, okay, Luna is pretty awesome. She kicked in doors. She does a lot of other cool things. Smacks skulls with hammers. Yeah, smacks skulls with hammers. She's got this. She, Diana has no chance if she tries to come at Luna. But I'm just saying, stupid. That's a stupid idea. Never do that. If you're in this situation, which is weird, but if you're ever in this situation, <laughs> don't do that. Yes, but they're running out of time, so they have to split up. Uh, I guess, but wouldn't it? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm not for it. I'm against it. If you don't trust Diana, don't do you her. trust her to go alone? Then? No, I was just thinking that in my head. I was like, oh, you could go with Neil, but then she's gonna murder us, then she's gonna murder us. Like, <laughs> And then you can't lend her and Neil go alone. Right, no, because Neil. <laughs> Neil. <laughs> so clearly this is the best option. I suppose. <sighs> Sucks being the responsible one. All right, anyway, let's get into this. Maybe Diane is a good person. Uh, do I really think so? I think she's suspicious. But I was also suspicious of Neil. I'm not a very trusting person, apparently. That's what we're learning from this. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> In extraordinary circumstances. I'm a very pessimistic. See, I think the worst so that I can prepare for it. That's my motto. Is it healthy? Probably not, but it's fine. Oh, I like the glowy. Oh, I forgot to put it in my other head. I like the glowy bits. Lamps, candles. A different light comes out of all of them. This is cool. Really pretty. Okay, there's no. Can I not look at this this big one? I think it's see the spot on the ground. What, here? Yeah. Mm. Because I think it's supposed to be above that spot. Right, maybe you can't. No. Is there... Oh. Oh. This room is very pretty and colorful. That's what I was saying. It's really different compared to the other ones, right? I don't trust you. Uh, but I don't think there's anything useful here. Hmm, Luna? Can, can I see your pocket watch? No. Neil said he received one, so I'm curious. Look at that face. It's the face of a liar. <laughs> don't do it. Oh, she did it. Thanks! It's beautiful, and the hands are moving. Well, yeah. She gonna run away. So this is the time you have left to get on the train. You guys only have a little. Wait, you guys only have a little over an hour left. But I think that will be enough. Ah, that's just what I think. Since the building's not that big. Suspicious. Don't mind me. After all, I don't know where the train is. Talking about trains, I don't really like them very much. I associate them with goodbyes. Sometimes you have to say goodbye to a loved one and take a different and take different paths. What do you think hurts more? To be the one who stays behind or the one who leaves the other person and moves on? I think staying behind hurts more, so I prefer the other option. 
But I think you're the kind of person who prefers to be left behind, right? I wonder what Neo would prefer. If I understood correctly, you met Neo. Oh, sorry. You recently met Neo. Then I suppose it wouldn't hurt much saying goodbye to him. Yeah, it would. Ugh, we shouldn't be talking about this. I don't want you to get sad thinking about these things. We should go back to Neo. There's nothing interesting here. Can I have my watch back? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, what? Your pocket watch? I almost forgot to give it back to you. Sorry. There you go. She's weird and suspicious. Yeah, she's trying to steal one of our watches. I don't know. She's being all weird. Trying to be all philosophical about weird things. I don't trust her. I'm gonna save. Save. Is okay. there anything beyond the save box? Uh, oh. She doesn't want me to go that way. <laughs> okay. Neil is going to be in trouble again. Oh, no, there's Neil. Ugh, this can't be. What is it, Neil? What, what should I do if I'm right? Neil? I can't say it. What if I'm, if I'm wrong? But I have to protect Luna. Uh. Neil! Ah! Eek. Who says eek? Luna, are you okay? Did something happen? Yeah, Diana was being really weird. <laughs> are there any problems? It's nothing. Did you find anything in the other room? Nothing useful. Uh, Diana is a heck of sus. Me neither. As you can see, there's only empty boxes here. Are you sure? Neil? I've been thinking about everything that happened so far while I was waiting for you. I thought maybe we missed something really important. H have you discovered something? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. I must be wrong. Let's keep going. I would like to know what you discovered. Okay. He was looking at thieves. All the boxes are empty. Fine. He's not gonna tell me what's up. What? I was just gonna say is that the one the box with the locks on it. Boxes with locks on it. Or is that a lock? Oh. You talking about the gears and stuff? I don't think I can get back there. Or um, you mean this one? Yeah. Yeah, no. For a second, Everybody's keeping secrets from me, and I don't appreciate it. I'm guessing he found something and made him suspicious of Dad. But he doesn't want to say something just in case he's wrong. If you don't mind, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Neil? Neil? Do you hear me? Ah, what were you saying? Sorry, I was distracted. Uh, are you okay? You've been very quiet. If you're not feeling well, I could give you some medicine. Don't take your medicine. Dan, there's something worrying me. What's the matter? Can I help you with something? It's hard to say this, but I think you're hiding something from us. Same. Uh, that's not true. Why would I hide something from you guys? Do you not trust me? No, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> I'd like to trust you, but there are some things that I don't understand. I see. Okay, I'll listen to what you have to say. <gasps> Neil's deduction. deduction. And choose the correct options while Neil makes his deduction. If you fail three times, it will be game over. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Are you gonna read this part? <laughs> if my deduction is correct, Luna and I could be in danger. I have to prove it in some way. Oh my gosh, this is picking up. What should I say? There are too many things in my head, but I don't know where to start. 
Well, let's start from the beginning. The beginning? Yes, when we met for the first time. Yes, Neil, break it down. I thought there was something strange about your behavior, but I didn't think much about it at the time. What do you mean? You prevented me from burying your friend's body, as if you didn't want me to. Pro you did not want me to approach her. That that was because I knew her body was going to disappear. That's what you said, but I don't think that's the real reason. <laughs> this is so good. I think there was something that you didn't want us to see. Something that Cynthia had. Her blood. You didn't want them. us to see. I'm guessing a pocket watch, right? Music box wouldn't make sense. Her blood we did see. I know. What? That's not true. I already told you that she didn't have a pocket watch. I don't believe you, Diana. You are the only people who have a po wa oh, wait, pocket watch in, the in this place. I think that's a lie. Oh, but, Neil, do you really think I'm lying? Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't apologize, Neil. She's sus. <laughs> Do you have any proof that Cynthia had a pocket watch? Yes, I have proof. I can show it to you. <gasps> the proof is a diary, a note, a pocket watch. Well, I don't think he has a pocket watch. No. What diary? Did we find a diary in the room? You don't remember. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't remember finding a note. I don't remember. The only diary I remember is the one that was the person who ran the... I'm gonna distract you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the one person who gave up, remember? The person who was living here? The, yeah. like, nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. Yes, yes, yes. But I don't remember finding a note. I don't remember finding a note either. So should we go with diary just in case? Just in case. I mean, we have three lives, apparently. What? What's this? It's an old diary. It belonged to a person who also got stuck in this place. Please read the second page. I got stuck inside a really strange building. I've got limited time, so I'll keep writing when I've have escaped this place. Oh, the limited time. I don't understand how this proves that Cynthia had a pocket watch. Pay attention. The, tea, the key is I've got a limited time. Just like Luna and I, this person had a limited time, so we can deduce that they also had a pocket watch. Yeah. Yeah, get wrecked, Diana! <laughs> That's why I've come to this conclusion. Some people don't have a limited time. We all have received a pocket watch, and you are very lucky. <laughs> no to the last one. It's the second one. It's the second one? Yes, because he's going to deduce that she's... Ran out of time? N that... She, yeah, either she's run out of time, or she's from this place. Ugh. <laughs> I think we all received a pocket watch when we arrived at this building. No! But that does not prove that she had a pocket watch. Maybe only some people received one. Well, I suppose that could be true. No, Neil, don't doubt yourself! <laughs> you have no reason to suspect me. Please, Neil, believe me. What's it do? Can't prove it. But. I'm sure I'm right. I side with Neil. I can't stop now. Maybe if I pressure her a bit more, I can get more information. I'm sorry, Diana, but we won't believe you until you tell me the truth. I already told you she did not have any gifts when she arrived here, so it's impossible for her to have a pocket watch. Besides, I didn't receive a gift either. <laughs> Neil? Impossible. What am I missing, huh? <laughs> Something odd about what you just said. I'm referring to Diana the, the Gift. The gift. Because it's Pete, she called it a gift? Yeah, we, 
she knows that we got it in a present. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, what's odd about that? Luna. Luna, it seems that you have noticed as well. I, I don't get it. That's okay. I didn't either, Diana. Don't worry. Neil, my boy, he's got this. How did you know the pocket watch was inside a gift? Be because you said it. We said that we had received a pocket watch and a note. But we never mentioned it was inside a gift. Oh my gosh, Neil, you got her. How did you know? There's only one possible explanation. <gasps> Wait, no. Uh this is the truth that you were trying to hide. Uh, you received a pocket watch? That one? I think so. Dot, dot, dot. Look at her face! We got you! This is like in anime when they were like doing the big monologue and it's like zooming in on all their faces in different angles. It's a phoenix, right? Face attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Two months ago, when you arrived here, you received to get inside it with a pocket watch with next to a note. You tried to find the train, but you ran out of time before you found it. Your clock doesn't work anymore, so that's why you're stuck here. You didn't want to see Cynthia had a pocket watch, because then we could find out that you also had one. Then why are you accompanying us? Why have you lied to us? The answer is obvious. <gasps> this is when it's zooming in on his face and he's about to point! <laughs> I hope I'm wrong, but... Yeah, the truth is... She wants our pocket watches. Yeah. That's what I think. I don't want to believe it, but... Oh my gosh. Oh no, she's gonna kill us. Yeah, please, tell me I'm wrong. It can't be true. You wouldn't try to take our pocket watches, would you? She already touched mine. He's tell me I'm wrong. Tell me my deduction is wrong. I'm surprised. When you said you wanted to be a detective, I didn't think you meant it for real. But I must say... Oh no! <laughs> Your deduction was perfect! No, Diana! I mean, we just met her. I'm not that blown away. <laughs> But it's a shame. I forgot how to figure out the most important part. The most important part? Did she kill Cynthia? Aren't you starting to feel a little dizzy? Did he drink medicine? No, remember. It's true, a while ago I started feeling sick. Unless she did something. How did you know? I don't think I mentioned it. <laughs> I'm sure you can guess it by now. Oh, shit. <gasps> Did I have a choice there? I hope I didn't. <laughs> the water you gave me. Seems like you realized it. Yes, it was poisoned. You'll feel weaker and dizzier. Eventually, you'll lose consciousness, and soon after, you will die. No, it can't be. Why are you doing this? I really don't want you to die, but I had no other choice. I hate this place. I don't want to stay here forever. To get on the train, I needed a working pocket watch. Unfortunately, my pocket watch stopped a long time ago. Luna, would you like to make a deal with me? She's gonna give make me give up the thing for the medicine. If you give me the pocket watch, I'll give you the medicine that will save your friend. No, Luna, don't do it. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't want to kill Neil, I promise. I'll give you the medicine if you give me it to me. What do you prefer, to stay here forever or see Neil die? We talked about something from similar before. It's a difficult choice, right? 
The poison will heal Neil in an hour, so you still got time to think about it. I think that's also the time you have left to find the train. Deb, yeah, please, if we're together, we're sure to find a way to help you. I wish that were true, but it's impossible. There's no other way. One of us must stay here. Luna, think about it. I hope you make the right decision. By the way, I know where the train is. I'll be waiting for you there. What a jerk. I suppose someone like me can't be a detective. No, Neil, you did so well. How could I have accepted a drink offered by a stranger in this situation? I was too naive. I've always been no. so pathetic. No, Neil. You must do what she says. I'm going to do it. Promise me you won't give her your pocket watch. I'm going to do it. Please. No. <laughs> I guess I'm being naive again, but maybe we can convince Diana to give us the medicine without giving her the pocket watch. For now, our priority should be to find the train. At least we know that the train isn't too far away. You'll be able to escape from this place. I'm fine, don't worry. I feel dizzy. I feel a little dizzy, but I think I can keep walking. Let's go. <laughs> You're such a good bean. <sighs> All right, well. I guess we should go through here. Um, a lot of doors. Oh yeah, a lot of doors. <laughs> huh? What's this? So many doors! Guess only one will take us to the right path. We'll lose a lot of time if we open them all. Perhaps there's a way to know which one it is without opening. <laughs> I like the big fancy looking one. Um, am I supposed to know? Um, go look around. <gasps> oh, okay, I thought this was gonna keep going. <laughs> well, yeah, that one's the only one. Also, is there a save button? I don't know if there's a save. Oh! You can go up. More doors. More doors. Oh, and there's another freaking one. How many... How many doors are there? That one's rug that is one's out of place. Crazy. They have good music here. Should we go with the one that the rug is out of place? At least inspect it. Can I do it? Luna, look! A cupboard in front of this door is a little crooked. Diana probably opened this door and moved the carpet without realizing. She knows where the train is, so she must know what the correct door is. Here we go! <gasps> Train tracks! This is... Luna, it means the train must be close. <laughs> like Let's go. Don't worry, Neil. What if it just rains? <laughs> just like comes <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> oh! It's a wheel train! Oh no, did we pick the wrong one? Very funny. A toy train. Ugh, how frustrating. The person who designed this place must have a twisted sense of humor. Mm -hmm. So... Ugh. The dizziness is getting more intense. Must be the poison. Neil, no! Don't look at me like that. I can still move. I'm not going to give up. Yeah! Oh, there's a save box. All right, I think that's where we're gonna end it for today. Peak excitement is happening. I freaking knew it. You can't trust Diana. It's freaking Diana. 
friggin' Diana. I'm sorry, Neil. I didn't trust you at first because you were some random person I met, but then we met more random people and I was like, nope, these are the ones you can't trust. And I was right! <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, this is really dramatic. I like it. The music's really good, by the way. Whoever came up with the music, spot on. I, yeah, I still don't really get what's going on. I hope they explain it in the end. The reason we're here, I mean. Like, I know what's going on with Diana and everything, but like, yeah. What do you think? Got anything to add? This was a good episode. I thought this one was pretty good. Lots of drama, which I'm here for. I hope, <laughs> you might have to go back and look, but I really hope I didn't have the option to say no to the water. I don't think so. You could go back and look, it's already up. <laughs> I, uh, oh. Well, I'm just saying, I don't think I did. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, if you guys want to see if my boy Neil survives and what happens, what's up with the train, do we get out? Am I gonna die? Come back and uh, watch the next episode. And yeah, I think that's it, right? Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys then. For now, bye-bye.